What's shaking, homies? Today we got the newest yo yo from Yo Yo Friends. This is the Da Vinci, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, we got a really beautiful box here. Tomoki Toyama, Yo Yo Friends. Uh, well, that says it backwards, so that's kind of cool. So you put it in a mirror and read it like that, too, if you wanted to. Pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, just a sleek, kind of simple black box. The Da Vinci. Very cool sticker. Classic Yo-Yo Friend sticker. And I have no idea what color I got or anything, so... Whoa! I got black on black on black. Awesome. And this is a bimetal Yo-Yo. It's slightly smaller. Uh, it's 63 grams. We'll put all the specs right there, though. Um, but yeah, really cool. The Da Vinci, it was kind of like the OG Jack of all trades, you know, so... That's kind of what this yo-yo is meant to be. He said well, a lot of times when he would do, he really liked this yo-yo, I guess. But um, the full, I'll put a link to the full story. But I know like when he would do chopstick tricks and stuff, he just had problems sometimes with like just shaving it down the slightest amount um, really helped maneuver in and out of his hands and, you know, um, go for perfectly what he wanted. And very, very cool. The same as the box, the laser etching. We got all pretty standard Yo-Yo Friends parts inside. We got the really nice um, pink, light pink, I guess you could say, pads. Um, we got the center track bearing and stainless steel axle. Bearing out of the box seems to be in pristine condition. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. And this is a B-grade. Um, just for the review, but that won't make, you know, any difference in the review. Um, but yeah, here's... Oh, no, this is the pheasant. What am I talking about? This is the pheasant. See, I know that this was... I think this was his main yo-yo he was using. I think he had some... Uh, he had a lot to do with designing this yo-yo as well. Um, but, you know, that's kind of how yo-yo friends are. Kind of work together as a bunch of yo-yo friends. And they come out with all sorts of cool stuff like that. So let's see if this one is just as cool as the rest of all these yo-yos. Because so far, yo-yo friends have kind of really set the bar on uh, how to make a really awesome yo-yo and have a lot of fun. So let's uh, throw a string on and we can get right to the fun too. All right, homies, we are back with the Da Vinci. Very fast playing uh, as far as on the string as well as just how fast it's hauling itself. Quite easy to catch it on the string too, I must say. And really long spinning. I feel like H-shaped yo-yos, um, even when they're a little smaller, they play bigger. Like, I don't know, it's probably just the way my eyes see it, but I feel like the gap, it always like feels easier to catch and stuff, even when it's a little bit smaller. This one doesn't feel small by any means though. I'm just saying that in general. Or like, that's one of the benefits I think of H-shaped. But yeah, very fast playing too. The yo yo friend's response never snags when you don't want it to. And that's uh, something with pretty much all the areas. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to figure out why this is a B grade because I can't see any anal flaws on it. And it's actually like dead smooth. So I don't know if maybe when they tested it. I don't know, it wasn't screwed together all the time. I don't know, maybe when I took it apart and put it back together or something, I don't know, I, I fixed something by accident. But it's literally playing absolutely dead smooth. And super long spinning, super quiet. And yeah, this is the first whoops, eight shaped yo-yo that I've been able to, you know, check out in a while. So it's, you know, kind of nice. I feel like yo-yo releases in general have been a little slow lately. There hasn't been too much crazy stuff coming out. And this is a breath of fresh air, you know, something exciting. And this is a really good addition to the Yo-Yo Friends lineup, in my opinion. It's not really like anything in their lineup. Um, so, you know, it's just new, fresh feeling, uh, you know, and something to give you an excuse to buy another yo-yo. Not that... Uh, us yo-yo players really need too many excuses to do that nowadays. Um, 
you know, but still, you know, <laughs> sometimes you're like, ah, oh, you talked me into it, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, just really, really fun, really predictable, too. And I like, it's angular, but it's still soft to catch. I don't know if that's because of the size, I don't know. I don't really know why, but it is very, very soft to catch. Yeah, really, really fun little area. Yeah, um, and you saw in the intro, it could uh, finger spin, no problem. Let's see how it handles thumb grinds. There's not really a dedicated lip like for thumb grinds, but just like anything, you can make it happen. Not, I'm like the only one that does that trick anymore. Just let me know in the comments if you ever do that trick. Or if you're like, Dylan, stop showing that trick in all your videos. Nobody cares. Yeah, this thing is completely smooth. Either they meant to set me a B grade and they accidentally sent me an A grade, or in the shipping process or something, it fixed itself. I don't know. And who knows? But that just goes to show you the quality control of yo-yo friends. You know, something doesn't meet their standard, boom! It's a B grade. <laughs> yeah. Very, very cool. And overall, super fun little area. And being eight, even though it's eight shaped, it's still very easy to regen it out and everything. Yeah, not a negative thing I can say about this area. Great addition to the Yo Yo Friends lineup. Um, and the black on black, in my opinion, looks awesome. But it comes in lots of other cool colors if the black on black isn't for you. I'll put all the links down below. You can read the whole story on this and all the places you can buy it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Yo-Yo friends, for hooking me up with the B grade, supposedly. But I think it's an A grade. So once again, you guys are the best. I'll see you guys later, and peace out.